Hello and welcome. My name is Khalifa Abdullah. Our main goal today is to bring light to a hot topic, which is gentrification in Canary Wharf. However, before we take you there, we would like to give you some quick facts about the area. Canary Wharf is the second major business district in London, aside from the City of London. It is also the European headquarters to many global banks. Canary Wharf is located in East London, in the London borough of Tower Hamlets. Many famous firms are located at Canary Wharf. They include Barclays, HSBC, Citigroup, Morgan Stanley, and JP Morgan. Gentrification is the renovation of an urban area in an attempt to increase property values. Although in gentrified areas, income tends to increase, for those who already found it difficult, they often find themselves having to move out of the area. And without further ado, here is our project. Can I work for the Tower Hamlet project last time? How do you think was it? Was it good or bad? As a whole experience, I would say it was really good. Uh, we got to see you guys one of the most important financial district and learn how it works. We, we also saw um, a lot of European headquarters of numerous major banks, professional service and um, and farms and media organizations, including Barclays, Citigroup. Um, Infosys, HSBC, JP Morgan, um, and this organization are based uh, in uh, that their headquarters are based in Kenworth nowadays. So it was really good to go as a group over there and work for our project, um, for our Tower Hamlet project, uh, and it was really nice. Okay, so you're saying the Canary Wharf is a good place, but you know that. Most of the people doing low-class jobs, such as supermarket cashier or cleaners, are mostly immigrants. And immigrant workers in Canary Wharf are not really treated good, according to the book I read. For example, the book says that one of the workers from the supermarket said he has to be supervised for everything he does. If total income in supermarket data and real amount of money wasn't right, owner used to treat him like death. So how do you think about it? Okay, though you are saying that cheap labor are migrants, but there, you have to also see the bright side of it. Most of the migrants, people who are getting job or who already got their job in Canada, they used to be unemployed before the development in Canada happened, uh, and which is helping a lot of unemployed people to stand on their feet after the, after the development of um, Canada, um, like um, when it start working, like uh, the company employed 200 full-time workers, a range of tradesmen also by them side including cooper, painter, carpenter, blacksmith and engineer. So though you are saying that most of the cheap labor are migrants, but they were unemployed before Canary Wharf well developed, was developed. So in a way it's doing a good thing for the society. So you're saying that the gentrification of the Canary Wharf provided lots of employment for the unemployed, so it's a good place. But there's another point that uh, I read an article from the news article from The Guardian and it, he interviewed a guy called Mark Gallagher. He used to be a, uh, he used to be a worker at the Tesco Metro in Canary Wharf and he was earning like 15,000 pounds per year, but his rent cost 900 pounds in Canary Wharf. Therefore, he broke up with his girlfriend and he became homeless for three years. Ah, oh, yeah, uh, bad thing it happened to people, it's just really normal, but you have to think that we can't just focus on some some individual story. Uh, gentrification helped the abandoned place kind of to the second largest financial district in the UK, which was abandoned till 1980, from 1980 to 1988. Canary Wharf construction started in 1988 and after that that development happened over there and now it's 
one of the largest financial districts in the UK. Our visit to Canary Wharf allowed us to see both the good and the bad sides of gentrification. We were able to see how Canary Wharf as a whole grew from an area which was abandoned, the second major business district in London, and even a European headquarter to many banks. Gentrification has allowed for a new area in London to grow where many wealthy people can come and invest in the country. While there, we notice a clear difference between Canary Wharf and other areas of East London. Shops are on the high-end scale. There are more luxurious places to eat. There are other luxuries that we notice, such as expensive cars and even yachts, where the old harbour used to be. However, there is always two tales to every story. We also noticed a lack of cheap labour workforce on the street. Everyone there appeared to be someone who worked at a bank or a law firm. It was all as if all the workers had been kicked out of the area. Through more research, we were able to realize that one factor that was that the inflation of accommodation costs in the area led to people moving out of the area. In the end, we realized that there are ups and downs to everything, including gentrification. Although gentrification has done wonders for Canary Wharf in terms of increasing its global recognition and regenerating an area, it has also forced many residents of the area to find accommodation and even jobs elsewhere. Thank you.